Hi, right, welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year. It's Friday the 17th of June and uh, today this is course number 82. I'm just on my way up to my daughter's in Newcastle for the weekend. So on the way up it's one of the few in the north or northeast I haven't played. This is Easingwold Golf Club, just north of York. As I said, it's going to be course number 82. Lovely sunny afternoon. Got a new hat on, a couple of Smithy 100 hats I've got now. Let's go and see what it's got. It's course number 82 of 2022, it's Easingwold Golf Club on the tee after the abuse given to the England manager after England's 4-0 humping by Hungary it's the golfing equivalent of Gareth Southgate he doesn't know what he's doing either from Kirk and Tillich in Scotland, Smithy! That's the opener at Easingwold, 370 yards par 4 uh, quite straight, uh, big bunker sitting right down the fairway there Looks nice to open up. Oh, we'll just take a wee look at the first green at Easing World. Oh, I'm just uh, about five, six yards short of the green in two. Ah, it looks nice anyway. Second at Easing World, 376 yards. It's like dog leg to the right, so you're aiming actually through the trees and then it's just a wee fade to the right there. That's uh, third hole at Easing World, uh, another par four, 388 yards this time. It's like Dink to the left, but mainly straight. You hit it out to the right there. Trees will close you off on the left there. That's a look down the fourth, another one at 388 yards, par four. It's tucked away into the left, further down. I'm hurrying up, so some nice lads just let me play through it. This is the fifth hole, first there, par threes. Uh, bunker right, left, straight down the middle, bushes at the back. Sixth at easy mold. Par 4, 334 yards, a dog leg round to the right hand side. I've got three ball in front of me. I've actually played two two long par 4s and a par 3 in the time it's taken them to play the par 3 and a, a tee shot here. So, keep my fingers crossed, they might let us pass. That's the dog leg slightly opening out, so it's a look down to the 7th green, bunker on the left. That's a look at the 7th green, and this Smithy ball was a bit 14 feet away, first birdie opportunity. Alright, that's a look down the 7th at Easing World, 363 yards. Uh, looks relatively straight, few bunkers ahead down the fairway. Uh, that's a look down the 9th at Easing World, 504 yards. Par 5 looks straight enough. That's a further look down the 9th at par 5. Just walking up, 4 ball just let me through, that's the third group that have let me through. I think rather reluctantly for one of them, but never mind, we're through. On my coat. Well, this is the green at the 501 yard par 5 ninth. We scan across. Smithy ball sitting there. That's about a 20 footer on in three, so another birdie opportunity. That's not bad for a non big hitter. Tenth hole at Easing World, a shorter par four. 296 yards. Looks relatively straight, a bunker sitting in the middle. Uh, we're on to the back nine now, so it's taking me an hour and a quarter to do the front nine. That's two four balls and a three ball letting me pass. Nice one. Yeah, 11th hole, par five, 479 yards. Rises over a wee crest, and then uh, I'm not sure where it goes from there. Whether there's any dog leg in it at all, or whether it's just straight over. And this is when you come over that wee crest in the 11th, so it's still going straight down. 12th hole at Easing World, 354 yards, par 4, just straight down, trees either side. And this is the green at the 12th, uh, I'm just short of green in two. I forgot about this uh, running across. 14th smacked it over it. And this is the second of the three par 3's on the course, 13th hole. Uh, it's 150 yards, but sitting in front of the green, that looks like a pond there. So this is going to be one for a stunt golf ball. That's still have ye, so we'll get him out for a wee go. For those that don't know about the stunt golf ball malarkey, where it was a while ago last year sometime, uh, I came to a hole with a great big body of water and it was a bit dangerous and didn't fancy losing a decent ball. So what I do is I get the stunt golf ball out, uh, an older one, and I name them alphabetically. So a long time ago I started off with Alan and Brian, there's been Imran, Kevin, Florence, 
And uh, we're up at Javier, we're up at X at the moment. No idea who's next up after Javier. As a closer look at the 13th green with the water sitting in front of it. I've got, I think I've gone through the back though. Safe anyway. Oh, I tell a lie, I've going through the back. 10 footer there for a birdie. That's the 14th. Uh, stroke index 2, 401 yards, par 4. That's going to dog like to the right, so where those trees are. You got a wee stream, a ditch running down there, and then in between the trees, I think the green's over there somewhere. That's the view, any of the 14th green. After you come over the dog leg, in between the shoot of trees, come over the ditch. There's a hole sitting down there. Oh, and this is the last of the three par threes at Easingwold. It's the 15th hole, 180 yards. Bunker right and left. Trees all around. Other than that, straightforward. This is the green at the par three, 15th. And I've missed about three birdie opportunities so far. But we're a wee bit closer here. Try and zoom in. That's about seven foot away, best chance yet. Well, must get another birdie putt. An inch to the right. So it's on to the 16th. And this is par four at 359 yards. Going to dog leg round to the right. There's a bit of wind picked up this afternoon. Uh, last three holes, I think I'm heading to the clubhouse. They're all into the wind. Uh, as you come out of dog leg at the 16th, if you up to the green, that ditch is running across again. Runs through quite a few holes. Oh, this is getting a wee bit monotonous now. Here's the green at the 16th. There's the ball there, hit a screamer about eight foot away. Another birdie chance. Ho oh, hum. Well, finally nailed one of those birdies, a proper birdie as well. 350 yards out of the wind on the green in two, nine foot pot, and it goes. And this is the 17th hole. That's a big long one, still out of the wind. 412 yards, slightly veering round to the right. 18th hole at Easing World. And we're finishing with a par 5, 465 yards. I can't see where it's going to go, just down the chute. And this is walking up the 18th. That dog, does dog leg to the right, but he come over this path. And then it's a very sharp dog leg into there. I'm just down by that tree in two, so that's not a bad effort. Alright, just finished on the 18th at Easing World. That's oh, a lovely course, lovely sunny afternoon. Uh, of course it's totally flat, it's in absolutely superb condition, the greens, fairways, tee boxes, absolutely magnificent condition. Uh, what I would say, is my only thing, quite a lot of holes are fairly fairly similar, tree lined, uh, quality of the holes is not in doubt, you see a lot of them uh, quite straight and in the same vein, but what they do is quite clever, instead of, because a lot of holes run uh, concurrently, what they do is have little, little interchanges where a lot of the tees meet and then you go off in a different direction. So it mixes it up quite a bit. But I have to say it's extremely enjoyable and I really was impressed by the condition of course. Yeah, well worth a knock round here. Uh, somebody asked me why I don't give what scores I get. Uh, I'm usually too embarrassed. Uh, but there's been a lot of birdie opportunities today which I got one but the final score I play off 15. I was 17 over par for today, but more importantly what score am I going to give the course, it'll be an 8 out of 10 for me. So that's all for today, thank you very much.